Today, we're going to show you how to use the infotainment screen in your GMC. Now, we have the Sierra 1500 here, so if your infotainment screen looks like this, we're just going to give you a quick walkthrough. Now, this is our home screen, so you'll notice we can't click the home button because we're already at the home screen, and you have a few options on the side here. So that would show you your music, your trailer if you have one connected, or you can just have the standard clock, and then all the way at the top, this would be the Google Maps that is built into the vehicle system. Now from here, you're going to have a lot of different choices. Audio would obviously just take you to your radio settings. Map would then pull the full map up on the screen. But if you click on the side here, you can still keep that trailer or clock on the other side. So we'll just select the home button to go back. Phone. So in this case, I've already gone ahead and paired my phone. So I've got the Apple CarPlay in here. And that would already be set up. And if you have Android Auto, you can also use that on here as well. So cameras. You can actually click the camera when you're parked or moving slowly, and this has the 360 surround view camera. So you can see out front, side to side, and it's really cool because you can just click that camera button pretty much at any time to pull it up. If you're using a trailer, that's also a very convenient feature. Now, Google Assistant, this is pretty cool. So if I click on the Google Assistant, I can say, take me to Walzer Buick GMC in Bloomington. Buick GMC Bloomington. Here we go. So keeping your attention focused on the road ahead, you can click that and it will actually pull up the route guidance for you with this system, which is really convenient and safe when you're on the go. So we're just going to close out of that here. Now back to the home screen here, we have our trailering menu. So we can actually click trailering where you can add a new trailer, use a guest trailer or accessories. So if you click guest trailer, make sure your lights are working. If you have Bluetooth cameras on there, or it will actually pull up a checklist, which would make sure you've got everything set up and ready to go. Now, Wi-Fi hotspot, this vehicle will come equipped with a Wi-Fi hotspot you can use when you're on the go. That would be a subscription based service. Also, some of your ammo also, some of your Amazon Alexa stuff is going to be in here. So if you've got lights paired up at home, any of that cool stuff, you can actually use Alexa that way. So you just set it up with your device, and it's really pretty cool. Now, my GMC, we'll go ahead and select these. And this would be where you can actually schedule service in here. You can set up the Wi-Fi plans, some of the store stuff, roadside assistance, and your complete owner's manual will also be set up in here. Then you've just got some podcasts and news. If you're not using that on your phone, it will actually be in this vehicle. So then lastly, our settings. This is where you can change a bunch of different stuff for the vehicle. So if you click on vehicle, this would be things like your rear seat reminder or buckle to drive. If you don't want to turn that on or off, you can do that here. And then some of your safety settings would be in collision detection systems. So emergency braking, your adaptive cruise go, the lane change assist, parking assist, all that stuff you can edit right through here. Or if you have a team driver, you can set that up as well through this system. So there's a lot of pretty cool stuff in here, and it makes it very convenient to set your door locks, lighting, seating position, all of that good stuff. Then you do notice on the side over here, you just have your quick icons, so we can go right to our Apple CarPlay. You can go to your Google Maps in here, or just your audio settings. So that was just a quick look at the infotainment, but if you need any additional help or have any other questions, you can certainly reach out. We'd be happy to help.